All right, so with the solar power, mess around a little bit. Recycled one of my boards from my stereo box that I was gonna throw away, but for a temporary setup until I get everything that I want how I want it, I'm not gonna go hacking up a bunch of wires and spending a bunch of money on wire when I'm just gonna cut it to different lengths. Um, but I mounted this up on a board. How Pretty ghetto right there how I got it, but I didn't want to screw it all around because that's not permanently where it's going to be. Um, but I tried that out last time. It works good. I tried it with my radio, my fan, and these two lights. Not those lights. These There's two bulbs in here. Um, but I've been, I've been waiting on a couple things, a few things. I got my solar panel in. It's still in the box. I also got this $12 charge controller now this is my temporary charge controller I got it just because I didn't want to spend $250 on the one I want right this second so hell 12 bucks I figured why not I got this guy it is not an MPPT it's a uh, uh, PWM I believe you call it P I think I got that right yeah so it only gives you, I don't know, it says like 80% or whatever out of your solar panel. But pretty simple little thing. Uh, it got pretty decent reviews from the videos I watched for what it is. Also, I got in today this guy. This is a watt meter. Uh, I got it on eBay. I think I paid 20 bucks for it pretty cool um, if you want to figure out how many watts you're running on everything and it, it did surprise me I mean uh, I'll do a little math here with you real quick these two two bulbs I believe are 40 watts a piece what did I see on here uh, yes oh man yeah duh right in front of my face 40 watts a piece so we're looking at 80 watts there 80 watts down here with two of them so right there you're looking at 120 now, what got curious to me is my radio says like 125 on the back, I believe, 125 watts. Uh, I didn't want to take that down because it's been there forever and it's all dusty. It's on right now. Uh, but I read that it's like 100, buck, or 100 watts for a box fan. So I got the box fan, radio, which I have turned on right now but turned down. And uh, I should have realized, of course, when you have it turned down, it's not using as many watts, but... 100 watts, 120 watts, there you should be looking at 220 watts, plus this 120 would be, you know, 340 watts. But if I look on here with this little... Oh, no. Oh, come on now. Why'd you go to kilowatts? Voltage. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever pushed a button on here. I just plugged this in. Got amperage, pulling two amps. That's pretty cool to see. 141 watts. How'd that just happen? Low. I gotta read what that means down there. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. 246 watts I'm pulling right now. So, I know. So, I'm gonna try to turn on the radio, turn up the radio. 246 watts. I'm gonna try to do this without YouTube nailing me. 246. Now. It still says 246. Ugh. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Um, anyway, I messed around with it a second ago. I turned it up pretty good. And my watt meter, or uh, you know, everything meter, went up. Where did my little sheet go for that? I had a little sheet for that meter. Oh, this is it power meter it's got all kinds of things it does it was like 22 dollars i think on ebay really cool because now i see that um uh, i should be able to pull what i have going on in here right now at ease with this uh cheapo thousand watt um not a true sine wave inverter <clears throat> it makes my fan hum a little bit and give it a little bit of noise but it is what it is so yeah that's my setup and uh the next thing i'm gonna do is uh gotta get my controller 
Well, first I got to test which how big of wires I can put in here. I think I can probably get eight gauge in there, so I got to test on that and <clears throat> find those wires that'll go from just right there over to my batteries, my audio battery bank that sits in my garage most of the time. So why not use it? <clears throat> if I go to a show, then I just unhook four wires. Whoop de doo, not a big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, and hook that up. I got to knock a piece out of my garage back here and my solar panel is going to go back here. I got to cut that tree down. So, you know, things have got to be done, but I'm going at it slowly, cheaply at first. Uh, the solar panel was 180 bucks. That wasn't cheap, but you know, as for like a charge controller, $12 off eBay from California. So I didn't have to wait three weeks for it, uh, for it from California or China uh yeah yeah just my start <laughs>